Uh, and for those listening, you know, in allied health specifically, recruitment feels like the biggest challenge that clinic owners are facing. You know, it's not so much about getting more clients or compliance or anything like that. Just having enough humans with a degree to to meet a service is a real challenge. Mm. However, many of them have this, many clinic owners have this mindset that to hire from overseas or to bring in a migrant is too hard. Mm. What would you say to that? Uh, it's probably uh, one of the best things that you could do for your business because at the end of the day, Australia is just 20, 25 million. It's not a lot of people here in Australia. Right. So there just isn't the, the talent pool that you need to grow your business. The, the people in your business is the most important for your business. I'm recruiting, you know, I, I can't hire direct from overseas, but I'm definitely uh, sponsoring local applicants from here who studied law here, but they are not Australian permanent residents or citizens. Mm -hmm. um, it's extremely important. The businesses that I used to do visas for, and I still do visas for now, actually, uh, their entire business model is built on um, hiring skilled migrants from overseas to do the role, because that's the only way they can scale up quick enough. Your business can't grow quick enough if you don't have the demand for it. You always need to have like that surplus, even though if you've met your quota and you've met, you know, everyone's at capacity, you can't grow your, per your business if you don't have that person that just has extra capacity to take on the extra business to grow it. Yeah. And, um, but yes, it re really requires bringing in the right people to do it. And so recruiting from overseas is one of the best things that um, you can do for your business. And I know p businesses that just purely do that. So yeah. When clinic owners think about hiring overseas or, or non-permanent residents or visas, all these things, it just sounds too hard. Mm, no, um, but it's easy. So <laughs> you 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 have recruitment agencies, or you work with people in recruitment that can you know put the right people in front of you, and then you just have to make the decision on who the final person is, just like you would with your own recruitment process. And then the lawyer handles the paperwork, and they can be here in Australia within one or two months. And so like that, there's a lot. Yeah, it's not always that easy, but it could be that easy. It is. It is that easy. And like, um, with uh, it's like well, I'm looking at hiring some staff from overseas at the moment. But they're when I'm talking to these recruiters overseas, they're looking at a pool of one thousand or two thousand applicants. That's how many wow. there is. That's how many they can choose from. Whereas here, I run job ads on Seek. I run job ads on you know all these other businesses, um, and uh, on these uh, recruitment platforms. And I'd be lucky to get one good applicant through. Mm. What mistakes do you see people make when they think about hiring from overseas? Well, I think that the mistake would be, I just think they don't know where to look for it. Mm. Uh, and they, they believe that it's a very costly process. And the fees you're looking at to bring someone for overseas will sit around the $10,000 mark right. max. But if you think about how much it costs your business in opportunity, how much it costs your business just in recruitment, and when someone leaves and you have to train someone up, that salary cost just there, it, mm -hmm. this is much cheaper than you know doing all those other things.